for the modern leader, how much should she or he weigh into social issues? You know, it depends on the organization. It's really hard in the U.S. right now. We're so politically uh, polarized. But there are some truths. I mean, it creates a more authentic connection to your customer. I mean, I love what Citibank is doing. City's chief economist did a calculation in that racism cost us $16 trillion between 2000 and 2018. That's the mortgage we didn't give for someone to build equity. That's the uh, entrepreneur who didn't get funding. That's a job that wasn't created, the job that wasn't you know, given, et cetera. And so City has, you go on their homepage right now, they have a, a concerted effort to build black wealth. And then you look at uh, Ben and Jerry's who say, you know, we're not just standing against racism, we are actively anti-racist. And some of those stances are making very, uh, so I'm, I'm thinking about, I don't have a city account, I want to open one now, mm-hmm. that are making, you know, people really want to be part of that shared purpose. And the organizations that have, in the middle of the pandemic, stepped up, treated their employees as best as possible, are getting real customer loyalty. It does seem like that's the opportunity for business and business leaders is to fill some of the gap that has been left either by government or other institutions on some of these pressing social issues. And I would just add, this is, uh, you know, Warren Buffett said in his 2007 shareholder letter, when we were right before the dot-com bomb, he said, when the tide goes out, you find out who's swimming naked. And he was referring to, you know, bad business models masked by a raging economy. Well, this pandemic has sucked the tide out and we can no longer pretend that racism doesn't exist, that structural poverty doesn't exist, that you're better off being born rich than smart, which is a huge loss of human potential. Those are lost Einsteins that are not growing our economy. 